Okay, Nat West, fix your f***ing infosec. So this is the login screen for NatWest Bank, which is apparently a major bank in the UK. And this makes me mad. So it asks for three specific digits of your PIN, and then three specific characters of your password. Newsflash, NatWest, you are not supposed to know anyone's password. Allow me to give you a TLDR of how passwords are stored and validated. So in a long, long time ago, people actually stored the password in plain text, which means they just put your password on a database somewhere where anyone could look at it and access it. If you've ever used the website and clicked on the forgot password link and it emailed you your password, that is bad security. That is a sign that your data is not safe. Because in that case, if you get a data breach, the hacker has all your passwords in plain text. There's going to be zero benefit in having a strong password if that happens. So the actual way we securely store passwords is through a process called hashing and salting. All right, so let's first look at what hashing means. Maybe you've downloaded something off the internet and seen something called like the hash, and then there's like 128 to 256 uh, hexadecimal digits. That's the hash of the file. A hash is like an algorithm that uh, takes an input and jumbles it up, but it jumbles it up in such a way that it's hard for anyone to get the original file back from the hash, and that if you change the input just a tiny bit, you get a completely different result. So, even if you don't know the password, if you know the hash of the password, you can verify that the user most likely has the correct password if the hash of that password is the same as the hash you have. And by most likely, I'm saying stuff like uh, one in a trillion or quadrillion or something. But even that is not secure because if the hacker knows the hashing algorithm that the server uses, then that's just gone, right? And God forbid they use the same hashing algorithm as another service that's been previously hacked. And then the hackers will have a lot more time and material to reverse engineer your password because it's been leaked already, right? They have all the time in the world to figure out through sheer brute force what your unhashed password is, right? And that's why we invented a process called salting, which is unique to the service and your account. So before you hash the password and store it, you add something like before, after it, process your password a bit. So even if your data gets breached and you're using the same password as another place, your stored hashes will be different, right? So hashing and salting, right? You are supposed to do that, right? Well, if you do that, you cannot verify if you're giving the right answer to the question that NatWest asks. So that means NatWest's password security is garbage. It's trash, it's rubbish, it's shit. Rant over.